Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today we're in Poplar Branch, North Carolina, visiting Kill Devil Diesel. And I'm joined by Jared Alderson. He's the owner of the shop. And we're gonna be talking about this competition billet six liter power stroke engine for KC Turbo's race truck. And it's our Diesel of the Week. Engine Builder's Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Jared, thanks so much for giving us a little time to yes, chat sir. today. Thank having you us down, down here in North Carolina and yeah. uh, getting to see the shop for the first time in person. Absolutely. And uh, we're treated to this awesome billet six liter power stroke engine. Yes, sir. And uh, wanted to know a little bit more about it. I understand it's uh, for a good buddy of yours, Charlie Fish. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, for the KC Turbos race truck, which has actually been a previous diesel of the week a couple years ago. And so this is kind of like the next uh, evolution of that, that program there and yeah. so uh they've been part of the uh you know the ultimate call out challenge and other uh diesel events that really continue to push the, the bar for what's been possible with diesel engines right and um you know basically we started running into limitations of the block the factory cast iron block and uh warren diesel stepped up and uh produced a uh, billet aluminum block for it uh we put a lot of our uh you know our cylinder heads and jessel valve train on it and uh this thing's ready to go yeah so obviously the billet block's kind of the, the special piece here mm -hmm. in, in this next iteration of the six liter that Charlie's gonna be running. Mm -hmm. So kind of walk us through starting with some of the machine work and then mm -hmm. some of the other components that are, are in there. Sure, so uh, we uh, we start with the, the bare block from Warren uh, and then we go through and do all the final machine work. So we uh, add the sleeves, uh, line bore, fit everything for uh, you know our tolerances and our specs. Uh, so this one actually takes a custom sleeve and it's a 4055 bore piston, which equates to a seven liter. So it's actually a seven liter, six liter. Yeah. Uh, and it's a, a custom Ollie Motorsport piston. Uh, it takes a, a gapless uh, total seal ring and uh, it's a forged piston. So the factory pistons are a, uh, you know, like a cast uh, style piston and, uh, you know, they have limits. We've run forged pistons for a long time. Ollie's been great to work with on those. Uh, we use a, a Waggler connecting rod. Uh, this one takes a, a treated, but it's a stock crankshaft has been treated, uh, uh, cryo treated. And then we'll do a, uh, uh, this one takes our solid roller camshaft with our, uh, our uh, Jessel solid roller lifters, okay. a uh, uh, chromoly push rod from Trend, and then our Jessel solid uh, uh, rocker arms, or excuse me, our Jessel uh, adjustable rocker arms up top, uh, uh, all bolted onto our uh, CNC ported Icon series heads that come with an oversized valve. And then a uh, sheet metal intake manifold made for us by uh, Rudy's, uh, Nathaniel at Rudy's, uh, does uh, excellent fab work. It has a built-in uh, intercooler, uh, which kind of helps okay. with, uh, a, cooling air temps, but it also helps with diffusing uh, better cylinder cylinder distribution of uh, water injection and nitrous. Uh, yeah. It has port, uh, port nitrous injection on it so we can help tune individual cylinder to cylinder a little better and uh, ultimately trying to give us uh, the best control to be right as close to that ragged edge as possible. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got the billet block from Warren. You got your billet Icon Series heads mm -hmm. on here as well as the custom intake up top. Um, now, I understand there's no water running through this particular setup, correct? Yeah, this one won't have water in it at all. We've done these uh, billet front covers uh, a number of different ways. Uh, we have some guys in street rods and stuff running them uh, with like an electric water pump. Uh, we can run water in the block, water in the heads, water only in the heads. This one will have no water at all. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we just need as much rigidity, you know, in the whole combination as possible to help hold up to 2000 plus horsepower. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then down low here, I see you got a dry sump. Set yep. up on it. You want to talk a little bit about that and the sure. decision to go with the dry sump? Yep. So uh, this will take our uh, our dry sump kit, which is a Peterson pump with a, uh, a custom pan made just for us by Steffs. Uh, and there's a lot of trick stuff that happens in the pan. You know, we've seen uh, we've been able to help some sled pullers and other customers with our dry sump pan. That you know, there's a lot more to a pan than just having four ports. You know, to it, the baffling and how the how they're shrouded, how the ports are shrouded. It uh, really goes a long way in helping to deliver oil where it needs to be and separate the air. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this is a uh, uh, this one's a uh, five stage uh, dry sump pump. Uh, we also do them in six stage options as well for some of the different QE uh, combinations on the injection side. Okay. And uh, this gives us a lot better control over the uh, the whole oiling system. You can control pressure and put you know more oil uh, to the engine and less oil to the turbos if we want. Uh, you know, turbos and some of these uh, secondary high pressure oil pumps don't always love being fed with 150 pounds of oil pressure. Um, so it really gives us a lot more control over the whole, the whole system all over. Yeah, yeah, very good. Jared, you mentioned a little bit about the nitrous um, mm -hmm. that Charlie will probably be running here. Um, mm -hmm. How about the fuel setup? You know, what, what kind of uh, injectors and fuel setup is he going to run? Yep, so uh, this will get uh, Warren's uh, dual uh, high pressure oil pump kit. 
and uh, then it'll take a, a massive set of injectors. When, when they get that big, they kind of start rating them a little differently, but these are equivalent to uh, an 800% over injectors, like a, a 800, 800 injector is what wow. these would be considered. Yeah. Yep, yeah. so Flying massive. All the fuel. All the fuel, <laughs> yep, all, all the fuel and all the nitrous. Yeah, we'll, right. they'll go through a few pounds of nitrous per pass. Wow. Yep. Now, uh, Charlie primarily drag races with his mm -hmm. truck, um, and you mentioned turbos. Mm -hmm. Do you know what kind of turbo setup he might be running? So Charlie's with KC Turbos, they've experimented with all the turbos. Yeah. Um, and you know, to their credit, they've done a lot of testing on different compressor, different turbine, different turbine housing combinations. And, uh, and who knows what he'll be running. I'm sure he'll be testing multiple different variations there. Uh, but uh, usually the drag racing stuff has tended to favor a large single turbo with nitrous. Uh, for the uh, sled pulling and dyno style competitions, a lot of times guys will go to a compound setup. Mm -hmm. uh, helps with a little bit more cylinder pressure uh, to the engine. and. Uh, uh, tends to help produce that torque that we're looking for in a situation like that. Yeah, yep. yeah, very good. So now that you know Charlie's upgraded to what it's essentially the pinnacle of a six liter power stroke, uh, mm -hmm. what kind of horsepower numbers can he expect? You know, once he finalizes that turbo and nitrous setup. Yeah, so uh, without nitrous, um, we would expect this combo to make, uh, you know, somewhere upwards of 1,000 to 1,500 horsepower. Um, with nitrous, uh, we would expect to be upwards of 2,000 horsepower. Okay, yeah, awesome. Um, 2,000 to 2,500, and really, we're just trying to keep up with the pack. There's guys making 3,000 plus horsepower now. Right. And, uh, you know, the Huey stuff, and, to, you know, Warren Diesel has done is, is, you know, more for more, more for the industry than anybody in the Huey game. They are innovating to uh, compete with the P-Pump and the Common Rail guys, and uh, Warren Diesel has proven it's possible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're uh, definitely doing a lot with the Power Stroke uh, platform, and, and Charlie's right there with them now, uh, thanks yep. to you guys. So, Jared, anything else on the engine here that we're, we're leaving out, or just anything else that you want to add about what's in here? Uh, this thing comes pretty much ready to rock and roll. It's got the factory uh, high-pressure oil pump and the uh, Warren Diesel dual uh, pump here. Like I said, it's got our Jessel uh, solid lifter and adjustable rocker valve train in it. Um, our uh, custom Inconel oversized valves, our Icon CNC ported Icon heads. And so we have a few yeah. different flavors of heads uh, available. These come, uh, you know, of course, we're right to the bottom of the page and went to our, uh, you know, our CNC ported Icon heads for this build. Just want to get a copper gasket with a uh, pretty trick, uh, uh, kind of like a boost hoop design. So we did mm -hmm. a few things different in the head gasket there where we have a uh, little more protrusion on a solid machined ring instead of a wire. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a solid machined ring. Uh, and then we do a receiver groove in the block uh, mm -hmm. to help hold the copper gasket. Yeah. So a few things differently there that we've done on the, uh, the head gasket. And uh, otherwise, we should be ready to see in a six to 7,000 RPM and uh, uh, ready, to, ready to go. All right, Jared, well, thanks so much for telling us about this awesome six liter power stroke engine. Yes, sir. You know, we'll definitely be excited to see Charlie running with it here really soon. Absolutely, can't wait. Guys, we appreciate you watching this episode of Diesel of the Week. Make sure you're checking out Jared and everything uh, they do here at Kill Devil Diesel. It's a lot of awesome diesel stuff. And make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more engine content. And uh, we appreciate you watching Diesel of the Week. We'll see you next time.